This is KNTV 3 News Now, live at 10. We start off with a live look at downtown Omaha. We're expecting another round of winter tonight. Roads could get slippery when you head into work or school on Monday. Good evening, I'm Phil Bergman. Freezing drizzles likely overnight and then snow is possible. We'll now head over to Audra Moore with more. Yeah, Phil. And Thanks so much, Audra. And you can stay connected to the 3 News Now weather alert team. Get video forecasts, traffic and school closings all on 3newsnow.com. New tonight at 10, Cass County authorities say slick road conditions this morning led to a tragic crash that killed two people. A car lost control on Highway 75 outside of Murray, Nebraska and collided with an SUV in the other lane. The Cass County Sheriff says Douglas Erhart and his passenger Donna Erhart, both of Murdoch, Nebraska, died at the scene. The SUV driver Carla Manzel and her passenger were taken to Nebraska Medicine. Both are expected to survive. Another crash turned deadly on I-80 near Lincoln. According to the Nebraska State Patrol, a tractor trailer jackknifed in the slick conditions near Milford around 7.30 this morning. Medics took 71-year-old Robert Robtham to the hospital. He died from his injuries. The crash closed the eastbound lanes on the interstate for several hours. Earlier this morning, a semi jackknifed on I-80 outside of Omaha and brought traffic to a halt as roads could get slick again tomorrow. Those behind the wheel of a big rig have to keep a close eye on the other conditions from other drivers. Reporter Alex McLuhan shows us what truckers do to avoid getting into accidents. Thanks, Alex. Also new tonight, an investigation is underway for the in-custody death of a Cass County inmate. The sheriff's office says 40-year-old Dustin Gandara was found dead in his jail cell last night around 9 p.m. Gandara pled guilty to driving under the influence on Wednesday and received a 30-day sentence. An autopsy was performed, but the cause of his death has not yet been determined. A man was seriously injured in an overnight shooting at a Lincoln restaurant. Cops responded to a large disturbance at La Cabana near 33rd and Cornhusker Highway around 2 a.m. Lincoln police say the man was struck by gunfire during the fight. His injuries are considered life-threatening. So far, no arrests were made. The Army Corps of Engineers have put out an outlook on what water levels will be like on the Missouri River this year. The current forecast calls for slightly more than normal runoff. The Army Corps of Engineers saying the system is in good shape to help handle the runoff. Water releases at Gavin's Point Dam will be reduced again in mid-February. Folks didn't just think spring, they got to experience it a little on Sunday inside CIJ Health Center Omaha. The Omaha Home and Garden Expo gave people plenty of ideas for around the house improvements from kitchen and bathroom designs to yard decorating. Ultimately, guests got to experience new ways to make cost saving upgrades. If you missed out on this weekend's expo, the Omaha Home Show will be coming to CIJ Health Center Omaha next month. A Nebraska man traveled more than 400 National Park Service sites. Micah Meyer's three-year journey is nearly complete. He shared his personal story at St. Paul Lutheran Church in Millard on Sunday. Photojournalist Matt Swip cut off with him and shows us how he's spreading a message of faith, equality, and hope. Great story. Meyer will be giving another presentation Monday night in Lincoln. We have more details on that on 3newsnow.com. The Virginia governor is facing pressure to resign. What he's saying about a controversial yearbook photo in an exclusive interview with CBS. Up next. Welcome back. Virginia Governor Ralph Northam says he has no plan to leave office. The embattled lawmaker told CBS News that he isn't going to resign despite an uproar over his use of blackface as a young man. CBS's Nicole Killian reports from Richmond. The full interview with Governor Northam will air tomorrow morning on CBS This Morning. Another government shutdown appears likely as the deadline for a new deal is next week. Despite weekend meetings and talks, sources say congressional negotiators on both sides of the aisle are not any closer to reaching an agreement to keep the government open past February 15th. President Trump tweeting on Sunday saying Democrats are offering very little money for the border wall and accusing them of wanting another shutdown for political purposes. On Monday, he's heading to the border town of El Paso, Texas for his first campaign rally of the year. No doubt he'll renew calls for his border wall. Minnesota Democratic Senator Amy Klobuchar is throwing her hat into the 2020 race for the White House. She announced her campaign on Sunday. The bid follows a 12-year run as a U.S. Senator. Before that, she was a county attorney. Klobuchar joined several Democrats now running in the presidential race. 
Some area sculptors spent the last few days creating some amazing art at Nebraska's first snow sculpting competition in Elkhorn. We'll tell you who won just ahead. On Friday, we showed you the story of the first ever Nebraska snow sculpting competition, and today it came to a chilly conclusion. Amazing to believe these started as eight by four blocks of snow merely 48 hours ago. The sculptors worked through the night Saturday to get them done by the 10 a.m. deadline on Sunday. Team Out Cold came away victorious with the state title. The team sculpture Phony Reality depicts a massive cell phone. All the contestants enjoyed the friendly competition. The contestants in the competition voted on the victors. The state winner will represent Nebraska in the 2020 National Snow Sculpting Tournament. And we had some snow competition out in Elkhorn and snowy conditions all day today. Audra Moore, our meteorologist, is with here with more on today's snowy weather. Yeah, we ended up with two and a half inches officially out. At Thanks so much, Audra. Music stars took center stage at the 61st Annual Grammy Awards. The iconic Diana Ross made an appearance and celebrated her upcoming 75th birthday at the award show. She was introduced by her grandson, which some say might have stolen the show. A look at some of tonight's winners. Song of the Year went to Childish Gambino for This Is America. Drake also won Best Rap Song. Plus, Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper won a Grammy for their song Shallow from the movie A Star Is Born. Alicia Keys was the host for the night. The Nebraska and Creighton women both picked up comeback wins today. Plus, Scott Frost, the ones motivating the Big Red in year two. Here from the head Husker, next in sports. Thank you so much, and thanks for watching. Have a